what is up guys so welcome back to another video as you see in the thumbnail of the video we got a new truck 96 c1500 single cab short bed two-wheel drive with a 5.7 uh fuel injected you know the whole nine it was repainted about five years ago it's got some sick uh sparkle in the in the green but um yeah so just want to make an introductory of this truck to the channel and i'll go over here in a second and we already got some parts for it just the tail lights everything else is for the gti i spent way too much money on the gti so <clears throat> let's uh pull the gti out and uh pull this back and go over it a little bit So, quick tip, if you guys don't have one of these heaters or one of the kerosene ones, you're sleeping because that shit gets this whole garage hot in like 10 minutes. So, let me uh, do a cold start for you guys. Grab the key. So, here it is. Um, pretty clean, no rust. The bodywork was done, like I said, like five years ago. Old man owned it before me stupid clean i mean it's dirty but it's clean you know what i'm saying so plans for this thing are five seven drop for one and we're gonna ls swap this instead of the square body i'm gonna abandon the square body just because financially it makes way more sense to pursue this because the square body i want to make a short bed this is already a short bed i want to four length the rear this would be easier to four length the rear I'm gonna 5.7 drop this, I'm gonna 5.7 drop this, like, 5.7 drop that, 5.7 drop this. Financially, like, to paint that, to get all the body work done on that, and everything, it just doesn't make any sense. And this, I can use stock gauges and everything. And the five speed I have for the square body is from this fucking generation truck, so. There's really no point in doing all that, so, probably over the summer, I'll, I'll uh, swap this. So LS is gonna be on hold for a little bit, but uh, it's it's gonna be worth it since this truck, I'm gonna try and do it in a weekend. So I can still use the long tubes that I was gonna use. I can still use the trans bracket I was gonna use. And uh, I can sell off all the rest of the stuff that I got. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm taking a little bit of a hit, but it's worth it in the long run. But this thing needs exhaust work and it needs some brakes. So here is your cold start. bad um i just put these out there for shits and giggles but overall pretty clean clean truck um heat works everything like that so it's getting registered on the 30th so because the dmvs are so blocked up so i can't really drive from them but i need to do all the brake lines and i need to go over some stuff but it gives me time to do everything that i need to do so good oil pressure it's almost out of gas but we're gonna let it warm up and then uh, I'll go do a burnout. Bye. All right, so now that the, the green truck is christened, christened into my uh, family collection of OBS, GTI, and that. Trailblazer doesn't count because that needs to get sold. But, so, yeah, so we're going to be abandoning the square body, which is kind of upsetting. It's my first truck, but it just doesn't make sense financially to pursue this. I mean, the body work has been done, but to get it painted and do all that it just doesn't really make sense. I mean, gonna try and get what I can for it squeeze all the money I can out of it and uh, sell off all the rest of the parts that I have for it and then that'll be it for this thing and then the green OBS will be a much better project and move along much faster the wall bar for 
the Wallboro 450 I have will work in this truck. So once it's 5.7 uh, dropped, it'll look pretty damn good. And then later down the road, six lug swap it. So we can run six by five and a half and run all the cool OEM wheels. But for now, we're just gonna stick to static mods, do glass headlights, new corner lights. As you see, I have new rear tail lights that I have to throw on. And then uh, that's really it. And uh, it needs to get cleaned up a little bit. So that's your introduction introduction of the, the green truck. So if you wanna subscribe for some more uh, OBS content, make sure you subscribe. Um, going to be doing some uh, some lowering videos and uh, maybe a little bit of performance mods, doing the exhaust, true duels and stuff like that. So uh, it's not really performance, but you get what I'm saying. Appreciate it if you guys subscribed and uh, maybe give the video a like, tell all your friends so uh, we can get some more subscribers and uh, motivates me to do some more cool shit. So <sighs> see you guys in the next one.